Inheritance is using the features of an existing class. Now we have two classes here, laser man and character. So this is a good example of inheritance. But we can actually structure inheritance in interesting ways. And one of those ways is having multiple subclasses inheriting from one superclass. And this is actually very common. So we have both laser man and arrow man inheriting from the character class. Another way that you might think that we could structure is to kind of do the opposite. Instead of having two subclasses inheriting from a superclass, we could try to have one subclass inheriting from two superclasses. But unfortunately, this does not work. This is called multiple inheritance, and it does not work inside of Java. There's something else in Java that you could use called interfaces, but in terms of inheritance, this simply does not work. Let's not give up completely on other ways of structuring inheritance. And that is a subclass inheriting features from multiple superclasses. And you say, well, that's the exact same example that you just gave me a second ago of multiple inheritance. You just put a new name on it and called it multi-level inheritance. Well, let me show you what I mean. You can do something like this. You could have two subclasses, tree and fruit, inheriting from a superclass called plant, as long as they are in line. The superclass would be plant, the subclass would be fruit tree, and tree would act as both a superclass and a subclass. And you would read it as a fruit tree is a tree is a plant. Now let's see how this would work in code, because this would absolutely work, whereas multiple inheritance would not work. First, we would create our plant class, then our tree class, and finally our fruit tree class. What we're going to say that our plant class has is an age. And we are going to create the constructor in order to initialize age, and we're going to have a getter in order to return what the age is. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create the tree class. The tree class is going to have leaves or number of leaves. It's going to have a constructor which initializes leaves. And it's going to have a getter or accessor which is going to return the number of leaves the tree has. Now, because we want to use inheritance here, we're going to have to take some extra steps. And the first one is we're going to have to say that the class tree extends plant, meaning it uses the features of the tree class. And because we do that, we're going to run into an issue because we don't meet the needs of its superclass, meaning we don't meet the needs of the plant class. So what we're going to have to do is take in what the plant class needs, and the plant class needs an age. But as we just said, the tree class doesn't need it. So how do we get it up to the plant class? Well, we're going to make a call to its constructor using super parentheses age, passing the variable up to the plant class. And then finally, what we're going to write is the fruit tree class. Fruit tree class is going to have a type, whether it's an apple tree, a palm tree, an elm tree, etc. It's going to have a constructor which initializes that type. And then it's going to have an accessor or getter method, which is going to return the tree type. Again, we're going to use inheritance, and it is going to extend tree. So now we have a fruit tree is a tree, and a tree is a plant, which is completely legal. That's going to finish our multi-level inheritance. But in order for it to work correctly, we're going to have to give the superclasses of fruit tree their information both tree and plant. So what is the first piece of information? Well, the superclass plant needs age and the superclass tree needs leaves. And so we're going to take in all the information via the constructor, and then we're going to send up to the tree class and the plant class the information that we need. So now that we have completed the multi-level inheritance, let's see how it would work in code. So I've created a runner called inheritance109, and I've added some code that we're going to walk through to see how fruit tree is going to utilize the tree in plant class. So first, we create the object of the fruit tree. We're going to call it Groot, and age 3, leaves are 10, and the type of tree is apple. So it would go inside of the subclass fruit tree, and it says, oh, inheritance is happening here. I need to meet the needs of my superclass first. So it would go up to the superclass 
which is tree, say, oh, wait, inheritance is also happening here. I need to meet the needs of my superclass, which is plant. So it would go up here. And the first thing to be initialized would be the age. Then it would come back down, initialize leaves. And finally, it would come back down and initialize the tree type. So now, once everything is initialized, we can use things from all three classes. And so if we wanted the age, we could say age equals group.getAge, and it would return three. Then if we wanted the number of leaves, we could say number of leaves, group.getNumberOfLeaves, and the number of leaves would be 10. And then finally, the subclass fruit tree, we could get the type and say type equals apple or group dot get tree type, which would be Apple. So now we've shown you how to use code to implement multi-level inheritance. So as we started with, inheritance is using the features of an existing class. The most common type of inheritance is multiple subclasses inheriting from one superclass. So we had all those characters like Arrow Man and Laser Man inherit from the character class. That would be an example of multiple subclasses inheriting from one superclass. You cannot have a subclass inheriting from two different superclasses. That's called multiple inheritance. And as I said, you could do something like it with interfaces, but you can't do it with inheritance. What you can have is a subclass inheriting features from multiple superclasses as long as they're in line, and that is called multi-level inheritance. And then we showed you how to implement that in code. In order to understand class interaction, one must understand inheritance as it is one of the main ways that Java has multiple classes interact with one another. And one of the most common ways that Java uses inheritance is via multi-level inheritance, having multiple superclasses all in line. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please do click like below. If you like videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks again for watching.